Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about an interview question that was asked in the EY. So as you can see on my screen, I have a profit by month column chart, where in the x-axis we are having months from January to December. So the interviewer asked to add a total bar which will have the sum of all the profits for all the months. So this was the scenario that was asked in the interview. So let's see how we can solve this. So as you can see on my screen, we have this profit by month chart. And we have this financial table from where we are getting the data. So now we will have to think how we can add a total bar after the December. So here in the x-axis, we are taking month name as the column. So first of all, we will, uh, here we will have to take a column. And we cannot add any measure to add the total bar here. Because in the x-axis, it, uh, it is already taking the month name column. So to solve this, we will have to create a column which should have the values from January to December and a total value as well. After we have those values in a particular column, then we can write a measure to produce the result for the total and the other values. So to create this, let's create a disconnected month table. I will click on enter data and here uh, we can say this as month table and here let's say month name and there will be a sort column as well. So in the month we can say Jan as 1, Feb as 2. March as three and so on. So we have created till December. So now we'll have to add one more row for total. And let's assign sort number as 13. So now we have got the column. So if I click on load, it will load the table. So now the month table is loaded. If you go to the table view, we can see this month table, which is having uh, Jan to December and total values with the sort column. So let's sort the month name with the sort column. So go to sort by column and sort it by sort. So this thing is sorted. And one more thing, if you go to the modeling view, you can see uh, this month table should be disconnected from the financials table. Now if I go to the report view and replace this month name with the month name from the new table that is disconnected. So let's take the month name from this month table. So it's giving the same value for all the months and total bar as well because there is no relationship between month table and this financial table. So now we'll have to write a measure for this so that it can take the respective values for each month and the total as well. So let's create a measure for that. So right click and create new measure. Let's say profit. And here we'll say if. So if selected value for the month column from the month table is equals to total then what we want is we want sum of the profit from the financial table else what we want is we'll write a measure for profit so calculate sum of profit from the financial table where the selected value for this month column from the month table is equals to uh, so we'll have to compare so this selected value in the month table which is this Jan, Feb, March so this should be equal to the month name from the financials table so we'll have to create a month name so we'll say format month from the financial table so month name from the financial table where I'm going to say month should be MMM. Let's close the bracket and close the bracket for if condition. So here what I'm doing is I'm saying if the selected value from the month name from the month table, which is disconnected is equals to total. So for this total, it will take some of the profit. So it will take all the profit for all the month because we don't have a relationship between the month table and the financial table. Now we are saying in the else condition, it should take the sum of profit only for the months which are selected in the month axis. So that's why we are saying selected value for the month name from the month table should be should be this value. Now let's click on enter and check if we have got the value. Let's replace this profit measure with this new measure. So there is some issue. We are creating the month column from the month name. So we should ideally create it from a date column not a month column because month name is a text column we cannot derive this format month from this month name instead we'll have to add a date column here so we have a date column in the financial table so if i click on enter now see we have got the result for each month we are getting the value and for total we are getting the total of all the profit for all the months 
And so this is how we can solve this problem. So that was it for this video. I hope you like this video and have learned something new from this video. So don't forget to subscribe my channel. Do not miss any updates in the future. So till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.